Welcome to A Poor Millionaire. My name is Curtis, and this is my first video. So congratulations to me and to you for clicking on my first video. Today we're gonna to talk about 10 reasons why I am poor. That's me. I'm taking personal responsibility for being poor. Um, but this might also help you as well. Obviously, uh, 10 reasons why you might be poor as well. Every case is different, everybody is different, every human being is different. But let's talk about 10 reasons. Now, I sat down and I went through the 10 reasons why I'm poor and I did an entire video. At the end of that video, it was like three hours long. So I decided that I would break it down into smaller videos. So this is video number one. Number one reason why I am poor and you might also be guilty of this as well. One of the reasons why I've stated these 10 reasons why I am poor instead of stating 10 reasons why you are poor is because everyone's different. And when I made this, originally made this list, I immediately realized that I am guilty of almost all of these problems. So this is one of all these things I am either currently guilty of or been guilty of in the past. So for me to sit here on a high throne and say, hey, you people out there on the internet, you're poor because you don't follow the rules is simply ridiculous. I am poor because I don't follow the rules. However, I am in the process of changing all this so I can become richer. And I'm hoping that we can come become richer together. That is my goal, is to make other people rich and make myself rich. The old adage is, is if you can do something, you do it, and if you can't, then you teach it. Well, I'm gonna try to do both. Teach it and do it. So hopefully this works out. For the first reason why I am poor, personal responsibility. I need to take personal responsibility for being where I'm at. And this is a concept I learned a long time ago through trial and error. Um, there's been several books that have discussed this, but the basics is you're poor or you are rich because of yourself, not anyone else. No one else is to blame for a reason why you're not successful or you're not rich. No one else is to blame for the reason why you're poor, the reason why you're rich. These are all your responsibilities. They're all because of you. Now, Here's the reason why you have to take personal responsibility. Because the fir first thing you're going to do is go, whoa, 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 it's not my fault I'm poor. My dad wasn't rich, so therefore I'm not rich. My, my family's never been rich, so that's why I'm not rich. Or because of the color of my skin, um, because of this or because of that. Because the government gives this guy money but didn't give me money. There's a million reasons why you might not be financially well off. And you're going to say, you've got a million excuses why you're not rich. But here's the problem. If you don't take personal responsibility, then you can't change it. If you always blame your problems on someone else, then there's nothing you can do. If I'm not rich because of my neighbor, my neighbor keeps me poor, then I'm never going to get rich because my neighbor is stopping me from being poor. So psychologically, I'm always going to tell myself it's my dad's fault that I'm not rich because my dad wasn't rich and didn't leave me a bunch of money or didn't teach me how to be rich. So therefore, there's nothing I can do about it. So I might as well just watch TV or watch a movie or play a video game and call it, a, call it a day. It's not my fault. But however, if it is your fault that you're poor, if it is your fault that you're not successful, then there is something you can do about it. Taking personal responsibility is the number one way that you can change your life on anything. Uh, if you're fat, it's your fault that you're fat. Now, yes, genes and, and availability of food in our modern society do play a role but you are responsible in the end. There are things that you can do to resolve this issue. If you're not successful, you can blame everyone in the world. You can say, well, my parents didn't pay for me to go to college. If I, my parents had paid for me to go to college, then I would be successful. I couldn't get a loan because of the color of my skin, or I couldn't get a loan because of my gender, or I couldn't do this or that. Any excuse that you make up and you blame someone else for the reason why you're not successful, is the real reason why you're not successful. The real reason why you're not successful is because you're blaming other people. You're not taking personal responsibility. You have to take personal responsibility. I have to take personal responsibility for being poor. This is why I am poor right now. This is why I am not as rich as I'd like to be. This is why I'm not driving a Lamborghini. No one else's fault. It's my fault. It's not my dad's fault because he didn't teach me well enough. It's my fault. In fact, actually, my dad did teach me very well. Um, my dad did teach me a lot of re really good values and a lot of things about how to become rich. So therefore, can't blame him. 
it's your responsibility to press the subscribe button, but only after you press the like button. You can't blame other people for your problems. However, obviously, if someone sues you and steals half of your money, you've lost half your money. But now it's your responsibility to regain that money. It's your responsibility to become successful. It's your responsibility to take those lemons and turn them into lemonade. It's always your responsibility to take things and turn them around, make things happen. And if you're always thinking, it's up to me for it to be, then it will happen. You can make a difference. You can change. As long as you're, now obviously, if you're in a third world country and you're watching this video and there are no opportunities for you to become rich or successful, then obviously you're not going to be able to obtain the levels of success that would be capable in a first world country. However, even in a third world country, you can still succeed. Maybe a lesser degree, but you can still make progress. You can still become more wealthy than you are than you were yesterday. That is the guilt. That is the goal. Take responsibility and make your life better. Make the lives of your loved ones better. Taking responsibility can change your life. I need to take responsibility. This is the reason why I'm poor. I may still be a millionaire, but I'm a poor millionaire. Why am I a poor millionaire? Because I made choices to not become more rich. I made choices that kept me from becoming more successful. I got off the success train at the first stop. Now it's time to get back on the success train and head towards the next destination. And hopefully the one after that. I'm, not, I'm gonna stay on the success train this time. So that's my, my fault. I take responsibility for it. You should take responsibility. You should look at yourself in the mirror and say, it is my responsibility to become successful. It is my responsibility to become rich. I am personally responsible for my success as you are personally responsible for your success. If I am not personally responsible for my success, then there's nothing that I can do to change that, which means I will always be a failure. It's the same for you. If you are personally responsible for your success, if I am personally responsible for my success and I am unsuccessful and I am poor, then I can actually make a change. I can become successful and I can become rich. If you are personally responsible for the situation you're in, being poor or being not as rich as you'd like to or not as successful as you'd like to be, then you can take, if you are responsible for that, then you can make a difference. You can actually change it. This is a huge concept. It could change your life. If this one concept, if this is the one thing that you get out of, out of this channel and out of this video, it will make a huge difference in your life because all the other stuff, once you've taken personal responsibility, there's something you can do to get better. For your success, there's something else that you can do. Because if you hold yourself accountable, and you hold yourself as the responsible party in your story, you are the lead of your story. You are the responsible party. If something happens, it's your responsibility, either good or bad. You take the wins, you take the losses. No one else. Don't blame anyone. I, luckily I haven't been blaming people, but I haven't been taking responsibility. I am taking responsibility because I know the first step is I have a problem, I'm poor. Second step is to get out of being poor and become successful. So hopefully we can become successful together. Please subscribe, please like the video, and if you're really crazy, ring that bell so I can annoy you with every video that I bring out. And thank you for tuning in. It's been wonderful talking to you, and I hope that you are as successful as I am in the future.